Did you read this at school? No, she saw this at the library. All the oh. same author. She asked to check out this like five oh. books. Lola loves cats. She wants a real one. Mommy says, looking after a cat is a lot of work. Lola decides to find out more. She learns that cats are super at smelling and hearing. Lola reads all about how to care for cats. She pretends Dinah is a real cat and practices looking after her. At last, Mommy agrees Lola can get a cat. Mommy and Lola find out how to adopt one. At the cat shelter, they meet Jeremy. He shows them three perfect cats. Why is there a spider in the one cat? Hmm. Must be a play toy, huh? Before Lola can decide, one little cat chooses her. Jeremy says moving is scary for cats. He gives Lola a list of things that will help. Lola will be back as soon as everything at home is ready. All the next day, Lola and Mommy shop. What a lot of stuff for a little cat. Lola and Daddy make a special corner where her cat will settle in. Finally, Lola is ready to bring the cat home. At first, the cat is afraid. But her own blanket makes her feel safe. Lola says not to worry. At home, the little cat stays in her carrier. After a while, she comes out and sniffs around. Lola watches. She knows her cat isn't ready to play just yet. Lola decides to call her cat Makita. It is the name of an African queen. Lola takes excellent care of Makita. She feeds her and gives her fresh water. One day, Lola's friend, Ty, brings a special present for Makita. Ty and Lola play with Makita all afternoon. At last, Makita feels right at home. Her favorite thing is to snuggle Lola. Every evening, Lola reads to Makita. Tonight's story is about a famous cat. Lola loves her new little cat, and reading with Makita is the best of all. The end.